Hello world. Mr. Resistor here, continuing our temporarily Omega journey. And um, so first thing I wanted to say is in our login rewards today for the uh, um, 20th anniversary celebration, we have a new ship, the Metamorphosis. Um, so this, um, I mean, it's another one of these, um, uh, Society of Conscious Thought ships. Um, so, um, they kind of do everything, don't require a lot of skills to get into, right? Literally just the first rank of Spaceship Command. Um, <clears throat> they can do anything. They've got bonuses for basically everything. And this is kind of how most of them are, right? Um, but this one seems to be really set up to be an exploration ship. So you've got scan probe strength. Um, <clears throat> scan probe deviation, relic and data analyzer, uh, virus strength, um, cloaking, oh, um, reduction in CPU requirements for all this stuff, probe launcher. So that means you can fit an expanded launcher. Um, so you can use this for combat, uh, combat scanning also. Um, cloaking devices can fit covert ops cloaking device, which means you can warp while cloaked. Um, I believe you have to be Omega um, to even have the skills to use that. Um, and reduced cloak reactivation delay. Um, so yeah, this is really cool, and I look forward to trying this out. Um, but not going to be today. Um, we'll go ahead and claim it. Oh, and the skin for it as well. So um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and claim it. And that, let's go look at our... So, again, I'm not going to claim any of the ships today because um, I want those in heck and I don't want to have to try and move them. But I will claim the skin. And... Wolf. Uh, that is a T2 frigate. So... I'm not going to be able to fly it anytime soon. Well, as long as I'm keeping this account mostly Omega. Or Alpha, I mean. Um, but... Let's see. Alright, let's go ahead and form our fleet. Invite the other guy. <clears throat> and then we'll all undock. And let's see, can I no? Warp drive active.
I do like the look of a of the Rifter. It's like such a I don't know, like a like an old muscle car kind of design, you know. It's <clears throat> a lot of different colors on there. Oh, these do extend out when it's not warping. Interesting. I wonder what that's all about. All right, well, um, no need to wait for the orca to get here. We can. And even though I have shield boosters on these ships, I'm not going to use them this time. Because uh, otherwise it's going to take forever. I feel like I've done the useful science. All right, here we go. I don't know, maybe there's some additional science to be done as far as, like, ammo types. <clears throat> um, but I'm not set up for that, and I ran out of isogene, so I'm not... Uh, making any more ammo until I can uh, make a supply run or maybe <clears throat> oh see yeah so when we get down to low shields that seems to be where the fully skilled character really has an advantage that last little bit of shield resistance um because he is a minmatar um character he's actually my my oldest character the first character i started with way back in the day um so he's got full shield skills um Right. I do want to get a little closer to see the uh, graphics on this. Okay, interesting. So that's putting the shield of uh, the ship out, and then what blue is taking the other ship in. Of course, that's not happening in this case, because there is no other ship. <clears throat> And if you're wondering about where I got all these rifters from, um, 
products you can see they are named t1 bulk manufacture um, so i did fully manufacture everything in there um, most i did a run of 30 of them in uh, in preparation for this um, And I had a few, uh, a few left from a previous run, and so that's why you have why there's a couple that have different, um, different ammo. So the whole purpose basically was just to have some ships to throw away on dumb stuff like this. Um, and also my, my nephew was briefly playing. Um, but he kind of bailed. So, you know, teenagers. minutes oh got the thing ah uh, one more final blow for him and then he'll be done with that so cool <clears throat> All right, almost ready. There we go. All right, target, target. So, starting off with an advantage here. It's got about 50% damage, and here we go. Not equal up to that point. Interesting. Okay. We 
just have some lucky hits or what? Wonder what's going on there. Wow. Really surprisingly close. Interesting. I did not expect that. Huh. That, uh, that, yeah, that. For how even they were on shield depletion. Right, and then. Man, like, but then let's see, our armor depletion went faster, obviously, because there was some catch up there, and then the hull depletion had to go, went faster also. That's, that is not how I expected that to go, I gotta say. Very, very interesting how that played out. Uh, once we got through the shields, I thought for sure a fifty percent armor deficit was gonna be, it's gonna be it. Okay, there we go. Let's do a real quick comparison here. Okay, got <clears throat> higher and I know you can't see the other numbers, but we've got higher inertia number, right? So we've got two here and five on the other guy we've got. So inertia here is 2.083 versus 1.798. So smaller is better. Um, shield resistances are basically the same. Armor hit points, 562.5, okay, that's the same, uh, and shield is, is as well. Shield capacity, 10, 20, oh, sorry, this is hull, that's why. So, yeah, okay, shield capacity, 1020 versus 1062.5. Uh, let's see, armor resistances are the same, 
Shield resistances are the same. What else we got? Uh, capacitor capacity, 300 versus 312.5. The charge time, 100 versus 93.75. Targeting range, 25.88 versus 28.13, 40. Scan resolution, 759 versus 825. Eight points versus 9.6 points. Maximum velocity, 438 versus 456.25. So, <clears throat> Those are the differences skills make on paper. But it is interesting how it plays out. And there are some things that just don't seem to be captured. Um, in that, right? Like I've noticed um, a lot of times those don't really take into account like um, Uh, like armor repairs and stuff they don't really they don't really show up as part of the official calculation of EHP it seems like <laughs> of course those are not relevant in this case all right and here we go <clears throat> Oh, you know what? I think I was I was comparing the wrong things when I was looking at how fast the shield went down. There is a significant difference here. Of course, we don't want to forget there's also a significant difference in gunnery skills, right? We'll get to those after this fight. Man, this is nuts. The way that shield is holding on. Wow. We're not even getting much penetration. So, I mean, we do have the skills to... Oh, just barely. Okay. Okay, so this time I picked launch ship from bay, so it just kind of puts it in, uh, just out in space. I go and jump into it. So, alright, let's go ahead and get those shields back. See what we got. One more kill? 
I'm pretty sure we can get one one more today or tomorrow. We'll see. It'll get done either way. All right, you go salvage. All right, so. <clears throat> Uh, show info. We can stop that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Fitting. Well, yeah. Okay. So there's the fitting difference. Um, 7.2 teraflops versus 6.75 teraflops and 4 megawatts versus 3.6 but attributes is what we actually want all right so accuracy fall off 8668 versus 9675 that's gonna make a difference. Let's see, turret tracking, 378 versus 393.75. So better tracking on the other guy, obviously. Rate of fire, 1.7 versus 1.44. Um, that's gonna make a, well, a, a significant difference in <clears throat> damage output over the long term. Overheat damage. 0. 0.95 versus 0. 0.85. Damage multiplier. 4, 589 versus 4, 712. Optimal range 600 versus 625. Um... So I think we're probably outside of optimal range for both of them, but you know, the closer the closer you are to optimal, the better. Uh I think. Um <clears throat> Yeah, so <clears throat> I mean all of these skills are just um, you know, you can see, okay, a giant stabilizer, and then it's uh, skill, surgical strike, and projectile turret. All right, so all of these, all of these just kind of make, um, it's a bunch of little differences that stack up. <clears throat> All right, well, almost there. And there goes the Orca tumbling. So we're like double teaming it. I think that's hilarious. All right, boom, boom.
one more and then we'll call it good for our dueling for today. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ten kills. <clears throat> All right, well, <clears throat> 10 kills feels like a mission amount of kills, so. <clears throat> So maybe after after this duel, we'll go ahead and do a mission, I think. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm expecting to lose this one. Okay, so...
Okay, well, we are getting into the armor. <clears throat> but this is the last duel for the day, so that's going to get repaired. Alright. Well, so that's ten duels done. Get to the next five tomorrow. And I think for right now, we will head back to Heck. <clears throat> Docking permission requested. Docking. <clears throat> Warp <clears throat> drive active. <clears throat> Permission requested. Docking request accepted.
<clears throat> All right. Well, uh, since we're at over 40 minutes, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this one, and then we'll have a part two uh, for the mission running. So, until next time, have a good one.